Tomorrow kicks off the annual Great Minnesota Get Together. And before we jump into this year's fun, David Schumann took a look back at some years past. Yeah, I spent many hours digging through the WCCO archives. Always and while fun. tedious, I'm mm -hmm. not going to lie to you, <laughs> it can be very rewarding because we found a lot of good stuff, especially from the 1993 State Fair. And as you're going to see, a lot really hasn't changed about the State Fair. The, French toast. the Minnesota State Fair always has been and always will be about food first. In 1993, the trendy new dish was fried green tomatoes. This year we found a product that nobody else had and was, you know, the fair was real excited about it because it was so different and it's really generated a lot of uh, popularity. Mm. And what would the Minnesota State Fair be without a new food on a stick? This year's entry, shrimp and pineapple. 1993 saw its share of celebrities. Dolly Parton, <laughs> Jeff Dunham. What? I forgot. You forgot? Yeah, we go so damn many places. I forgot. Even a young David Letterman. Carved into butter, anyway. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for telling us who that was. It did not look like Letterman. <laughs> anyway, yeah, well, he was a big star at the time, yeah. right? Um, something else that hasn't changed, the heat. Right. We're dealing with that mm -hmm. right now. And yeah. there was a lot of video of people drinking water bottles, yes. taking rest in Trying the shade. And I actually remember, Derek, we met last year at the at State Fair. That's when you started. Oh, yeah, your one year anniversary yeah. of friendship. Any big surprises, David, that you found? Uh, you know what? I have to say I loved seeing the Midway in the 1980s, which we have a clip of that as I well. I want to see it. From unusual sights like motorcyclists speeding around a vertical wall to the tamer pleasures of the ever popular merry-go-round, the Midway won't let you down. It might lift you up on the giant wheel featured in Seattle's World's Fair, swing you out on a new ride this year called Force 10, or twirl you around in the Boomerang, another new attraction, but the Midway never lacks excitement. That poor kid who was having no fun on the carousel. Did you see her? Yeah. Oh my gosh, she was over it. So one of the things that we always do is involve like us in stuff, right? They put us in goofy situations or we're yeah. doing uh, mm -hmm. animal calls. What, what kind of stuff was going on back then? So it turns out actually that WCCO was the first station to broadcast live from the State Fair. Not and surprised. we found a few hour long live specials from the mid 1980s and Pat Miles and Bill Carlson, if you remember them, longtime viewers. We have a little clip of them as well. One of the things that's really important about this Minnesota State Fair, and sometimes we forget because we get caught up in the mini donuts and the pronto pups, but it's a fabulous opportunity for young people to come to the State Fair and show the animals. There you go. They've been working on all year and working with, for some, for some kids, a lifetime. Can I also just say there's nothing wrong with getting caught up in the mini donuts and pronto <laughs> yeah, <pups>. true. <laughs> I, that, that's what I kind of want to do when I go to the state fair. But uh, and then other people who have been seen watching WCCO for a long time, Don Shelby, we all mm, know yeah. him. There used to be a dunk tank. Oh yeah, do we have dunk tank footage? We have a promo that uh, was advertising getting ready to dunk Don. Okay, I want to see this. Hey, hey, turn that off. How many different ways can you hit the dunk tank? Yeah. Do you see the elbow? Maybe it was That's one of those one. hot days. They were just doing it themselves <laughs> to get in there. Why did that go away? I would I would sit in that if they brought it yes, back. Yes, same. Absolutely. Especially on daylight tomorrow? I don't know. We were talking about tooth water yesterday. I don't want to sit in Schumann water, to be honest with you. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Like, I mean, come on. Well, we would need a dunk tank tomorrow, though, potentially. Yeah. It would get pretty sweaty out there, I Indeed, think. Indeed, well, right. Going, That's what going through all this definitely got me very excited to get out there uh, yes. this year. Again, starts tomorrow. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys come visit us at the WCCO booth. All those live shows we'll be doing. That's Noon, true. 4, 5, and 6. One thing that hasn't changed, all the people out there to see mm -hmm. those shows. And we can't wait to see you tomorrow. 